Hey guys, this is Saipom hosting from Gizmos Boy and in this video I am going to show you how to use the Viona Wireless Mini USB adapter. Let's get started. After installing the Viona software in your PC, in the task box which is present at the right bottom of your PC, you should be able to find this option of the Viona adapter that is the icon. You should right click on this and there are three options available in that you have to select the launch the configuration utility as soon as the click on that option a dialog box appears in front of you which shows the available networks that is the wi-fi networks available around you this mode is mainly meant for those who want to get access to the wi-fi network which are available around them to get access to that, those wi-fi networks you should select this button that is the available network and in this dialog box the Wi-Fi network which are available around you appears in this dialog box you should select the Wi-Fi network of your choice and you should click on this button that is the connect button which gets automatically connected to the Wi-Fi network if it is secured by a password you should enter the password and get access to the Wi-Fi network this is one of the mode of this Viana and the second option is that the access point mode the access point mode is meant for those have a PC or a broadband, have a PC LAN or a broadband connection and want to convert that connection into a hotspot using this Wi Fi adapter. To enable that mode, you should again click on the icon and select the AP mode, switch to AP mode. You should not select this mode. I will explain it later why you should not select this option to get an access point mode. You see, if you are a single PC user, you should switch to AP mode. As you can see by clicking on that option, the icon has disappeared from this box which shows that the USB has been removed from the PC. It again detects the PC. It again detects the USB adapter automatically. The dialog box appears the, according to your convenience. You should select this option that is the access point setup mode. As soon as you click, this dialog box appears below that box and the SSID represents the name given by you to the USB hotspot. You will select the name of your wish and this ICS one is automatically detected by the PC by the driver which is installed. You should not disturb this option as you may lose the ability to get access to the hotspot. So better not to touch it. After clicking it, click next and in the next you can see the channel. In this channel option you can see there are channels from 1 to 11. In those channels I recommend or I suggest that you should select 1, 6 or 11 because in those channels that is 1, 6 or 11 the traffic is very less and there is ease of access to the Wi-Fi. So according to my suggestion you can select 1, 6 or 11 or if you wish to select any other channels other than 1, 6 or 11 it is your wish depending upon your requirement. After selecting the channels click the next button and in the next you can see the authentication and the encryption. You need to select the authentication of your wish that is WPA2 or PSK or open. Open indicates that there is no password required for your hotspot that it can be it is the open Wi-Fi network. For the time being I am selecting the WPA2 PSK and the encryption is automatically selected by the PC according to its requirements. You should click next and in the next option you should type the password of your wish to get secured Wi-Fi hotspot connection. You can set a password of your wish, but if you select a password which is of minimum 8 characters better for your hotspot and it is safe from being getting hacked. So I am selecting this password which is of uh, 8 to 9 characters and click next button and that's it. I'll show the PC access. As I stated above that the client plus AP mode has not to be selected if you are a single user because the client plus AP mode is meant for those who have multiple PCs and want to make one of their PCs other main PCs. That is the main PC is one of the user and the remaining PCs are treated as the clients. That is the control of the internet is being held by the main PC which are being supplied to the client PC. So since I am a single user I selected the only AP mode and if you are a multiple user and have a multiple PCs you can go to the option client plus AP mode. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Saipon signing off from Gizmos Boy. Please don't forget to subscribe.